Hello guys, welcome back to Fun with Frank. In this video, we're looking at the top 10 scams while traveling. Travel scams are real, and they vary by country. If you have a travel guidebook with you, it will list the most common scams in that country. To keep you safe, I've compiled a list of common travel scams to avoid. To avoid travel scams, use common sense. And a healthy dose of suspicion. If something appears to be too good to be true, it most likely is. Here are some of the more universal scams you'll want to avoid. Before we get started, make sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. Number 1. The Sauce Trick The method essentially involves diverting your attention away from your valuables and onto something else. Sauce is squirted or spilled on you by the crook. They then point it out and offer to help you clean it off. Meanwhile, they are their accomplice will steal your wallet. Other methods used by pickpockets include being jostled by local children, someone pretending to fall over, being wooed by a local, or having a cat or baby thrown at you. The trick is to consider anything unusually diverting as a pickpocket attempt. Number 2. Money Changing The classic note switch occurs everywhere. The shopkeeper or taxi driver gives you less change than you should. Or they'll quickly swap a 50 for a 5, then complain that you didn't give them enough. You walk up to the foreign exchange counter and ask to exchange money. The clerk switches similar notes during the changeover, and you end up with less than you paid for. Check your money before you leave, and don't let them rush you through the process. It's critical to keep your eyes peeled because many currencies have denominations that look similar in color and design. Never accept notes that are torn, worn, or damaged. They can be difficult to remove later. Number 3. Dodgy Tours Always travel with a well-known tour company to ensure that you get what you pay for and that your safety is a top priority. Conduct research, read reviews, and seek advice from your lodging. Always make your reservations through reputable websites and operators. Traveling with a shady operator could leave you stranded, injured, sick, or even cheated out of some of your vacation funds. Number 4. Taxi and tuk-tuk scams Drivers overcharging passengers with exorbitant fares, claiming the meter is broken, unlicensed drivers touting for fares at the airport, taking you on the least direct route. These are just a few of the ways you can be scammed by drivers while trying to get around. Sometimes, the taxi driver is in cahoots with restaurant owners, shopkeepers, or attractions, and will tell you that whatever place you want to go is closed when you ask to go there, instead taking you to another location where the driver is compensated for bringing business. Be firm but polite about your destination, and if they refuse to take you, get out and find someone else who will. Always request a licensed taxi or hail one from a designated rank. If you're taking a tuk-tuk, ask your hotel if they have a preferred driver. Your hotel, tour guide or fellow travelers will know how much a fare should be, and you can use Google Maps if you suspect the driver is taking a longer route. Avoid taking unlicensed taxis, no matter how appealing the low fare or deal. It can be the starting point for an express kidnapping in some parts of the world, such as Latin America. Number 5. Ticket Scams When you arrive at the bus terminal, someone approaches you with tickets to sell, claiming they are at a reduced price or that you can skip the ticket line. You buy a ticket only to discover that it is fake and invalid when you board the bus. Who is the vendor? Your money is gone and you are nowhere to be found. Some of these sellers even go so far as to dress professionally. Purchase your tickets only from an official ticket booth or window. Number 6. Fake Cops Fake cops appear to be everywhere around the world, and travelers are frequently duped by these imposters looking to make a quick buck. Most of the time, they will ask for your personal ID and then issue you a fine for no reason, indicating that it can be paid on the spot or requesting a bribe to get your ID back. You naturally pay up because you don't want to get into trouble. They are sometimes uniformed and sometimes they are not. Real cops may ask you for your personal identification, but they will never demand that you pay the fine right away. 
When approached by someone who appears to be an official, show them your ID but never give it to them. Request their ID as well. If they find you, tell them you'll go to the police station to handle the situation. The imposters usually make a beeline for the exit. Number 7. Rental Scam The old scam of you damaged it, you pay is universal. Whether it's a jet ski in Thailand or renting a scooter in Mykonos. When the traveler returns the vehicle, he is confronted with demands for payment for existing damage. Your passport may be confiscated and the police may be summoned. Inspect any vehicle or equipment before hiring it and take photos of any existing damage to show the hire operator. Number 8. ATM Scams ATM skimmers can use a variety of techniques to steal your card and banking information. A common travel scam involves attaching a skimmer device to the mouth of an ATM. When customers insert their cards into the machine, it will secretly record the information. Another variation of this travel scam involves inserting a sticky or plastic slip into the slot, causing your card to become stuck in the machine. Once again, a good Samaritan will be present to help you and may suggest that you call the phone number, which is frequently a fake number on the machine for assistance. The best way to avoid falling victim to this travel scam is to only use ATMs from reputable banks. When we visit a foreign country, we always shake the ATM card reader to ensure it is genuine. If the ATM sucks in your card and refuses to return it, go to the bank right away. If you do happen to lose your card, contact your bank immediately and cancel it. In both Argentina and Turkey, ATMs keep our card. But there was no problem after we informed our banks about what had occurred. Number 9. Border Scam This scam often happens in tandem with fake police or officials. When you arrive at a border crossing, you are approached by a visa official who offers to process your entry visa for a fee. To sweeten the deal, they may offer you a free transportation deal into the city. Always obtain your visa from an official border office and be aware of the visa fee before paying. Number 10. Fake Souvenirs Is that indigenous carving or painting authentic? Has it been locally crafted? Are the materials sustainably sourced? Unfortunately, no matter where you travel in the world, you will often come across handicrafts and goods which aren't made by local artisans, instead labeled as the real thing and mass-produced in a factory elsewhere. These mass-produced items are crafted by workers who are often poorly paid and have poor working conditions. Thank you for watching the video.